Peace and blessings, family. Sister Achali, I did this share back in September 28th of 2022, and it's beautiful that it's had, for me now, I just want to reach those who are capable of taking in the truth and using it to improve their lives. That's a, that's a mighty glorious thing. And this is one of the rare shares where I'm happy with the way that I put it together. Cause I've never said that I'm the best speaker up here. I'm definitely not. I'm one of the more passionate ones, but we got a lot of, well, I can't say a lot. Most people up on social media, especially on YouTube are operatives, but we have completely passionate, dedicated to black men, black women, content creators like Sister Lashid. And I, oh, when I see her shares, even though there's certain subject matter she covers because she's her own independent person um, that I don't necessarily gravitate towards. And then there's content I cover that she doesn't necessarily gravitate towards. But when I see her up here, just continuously putting the truth out that is healing to our people, it's such a soothing experience in my soul. So I endeavor to do the same because I'm going to go to the truth tellers. I'm not going to go to the fools out here who are peddling our genocide and their black like, all right? So it, it really buoys my spirits to even see a couple of us taking in my just researched fact-based information and thereby i find it interesting seeing how i put this out on september 28 22 even though it's only 191 views suddenly the national institutes of health in the uk publishes on october 17 2022 hair straightening chemicals associated with higher uterine cancer risk. Now, this, as I said, this is out in the UK and here in the headline, they had following that immediately, NIH study finds black women may be more affected due to higher use. Of course we are, of course. Uh, but then you also have other races of people who may have a slight curl to their hair and they just want to do that friggin' limpified, you know, deluge of stuff that you can't do much with other than let it hang down on your shoulders stuff. They may want to do that because they've been just brainwashed into thinking that anything that reminds you of black people is something that you are supposed to issue, something you're supposed to run away from. Uh, but you will never see, <laughs> you will never see Meghan Markle going back to black, anything. Not that she is not black. That's why I'm, I don't, you know, oh my goodness, Meghan has, you know, betrayed us. No, when Serena uh, married her cave dude, I call that a betrayal, definitely. But Serena Williams is actually fully black. Her child is not. Okay, because they have a right to love the white portion of their family. We'd be wrong to tell them, oh, you, you're a traitor to the black race. No, they're embracing the side of themselves that they desire and are addicted to the most. That's why I also did a share on my channel they took down. Uh, that Megan, she came out publicly saying that she was an ugly duckling. First off, I need to say, this is the reason that I snapped out of my snow country addictions myself and just dated exclusively black men after that, where I, I was like, no, 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 I can't. I can't with the, the paleness because I did not want to have a biracial child. I can't relate to them. And they're not... For me, I'm not trying to say that Megan was ugly. I'm not, but I'm trying to put the priority list I have in my heart and soul with fully black people. I find us absolutely 
undeniably hypnotically gorgeous. Our children are gorgeous, but I'm just talking about the hypocrisy, the hypocrisy of whiteism. Uh, it's it, when you are just th thinking that being white is the best. No, Megan called herself an ugly duckling. When nothing ugly about Megan. Right? I, I'm just, if you, if this is what you're into, and in enjoy yourself. Uh, but there she is. She creamy cracked up forever. And I'm not showing any of the photos of her with her, you know, sutured up nose and creamy cracked up self. Right? Uh, but there was nothing wrong with her face. Uh, but there's something wrong with her mind now and on back then too because she had dora for mother whatever her name is her mother's name you don't hear from her and you don't hear from the black family because it's not just the hair it's the system it's the system and them desperate for approval so her mother and it kept her away from black people yeah you know i mean to that's why for her it's easy to just have had her whole family disappear from her presence you don't see him at all and i would imagine that this was you know even by the time she was a teenager okay because i understand from her sister she's a vicious woman from her employees her servants she's a vicious woman this is what embracing the hegemonic horror of whiteism supports and will recruit from whatever parameter of blackness they can find it. And those who are the most depraved will embrace it and run with it. Because here in the article in the Daily Mail, which is a UK-based news site, uh, they don't even mention what was clearly in the NIH headline, which is that black women are at a higher risk. They don't even talk about black women until way down in the study, as if we don't exist anywhere. You don't see it. Usually they'll have all the little key points. How do you miss this key point? How do you miss that? Huh? How do you miss that? They do because it's written by white people. The Daily Mail is so freaking racist. It's crazy. And I know they watch my channel 100%. I'm sure there's a bunch of UK people, pink ones, who watch my content still, still. And uh, speaking of searches, here I am just trying to get a visual on who's searching for me through LinkedIn. And it's this company called NTT Data, which is very interesting. NTT Data is based in Tokyo. I'm like, and this ain't no tiny, teeny, tiny individual operation. This is the company that came searching for what I'm talking about. I'm like, what? I'm not moving to Tokyo. I'm not looking for any jobs in Tokyo. I'm not even going to visit Tokyo. All right. It, trust and believe our voices get out there. I'm quite sure there's Chinese diplomats and officials. Crazy as that country is, and it has been ordered to do everything it's doing by the satanic elites, they watch my channel too. And so this is how benign racism is, where you don't mention, who are the people who creamy cracking it up? Hmm? It's, they realize when they put this headline together, we can't mention black people. Because then white people who are our primary subscribers won't pay attention. And I got to add, uh, they shouldn't be paying attention to us. We should not be any more interesting to them if they love themselves. The problem is, is that they don't want us to be independent from their ownership. Otherwise, they wouldn't constantly be working on convincing us uh, that we're the worst people on the planet. In this Daily Mail, they constantly showcase any little thing that we do wrong. They, they showcase any single time black us commit any crime whatsoever. 
even though we do nothing on par with what these folks do, the pink folks do, they put that front and center up top. Make sure that anybody who's coming through just quickly gets to see, oh yeah, them black people, they're the worst people on the planet. And then you scroll all the way down and then suddenly you see white people committing crimes against other white people that chill your spine. They're so depraved, so ruthlessly, just bloodthirsty. But those are all the way down at the bottom, okay? And so this thing here, you know, even in the comments, I read a couple of the comments and people were saying, oh, what about Macon? Right? They didn't say it in an accusatory fashion, uh, but they were just sort of noticing that, you know, ooh, you know, I know that can't be Megan's here. They even have a picture here of this very biracial looking woman who I betcha they put that in there is sort of like, oh yeah, Megan, Megan. Right? But don't mention it too deeply. Don't put black women up there too deeply. Not that she's black, but then people would have an expectation that the royal family would give a damn about her, but they don't. They don't, right? And she don't give a damn about herself either. She'd rather die from creamy cream. And it doesn't just, they, they, they only mention one thing that it causes uterus, uterine cancer. It causes fibroids. It causes dementia. It's breaking down every single system in your body. Right? That's when I was going over the lace front wigs. The glue was toxic. You didn't have to re and this research was has been going on for 25 years. When you ever heard these people say anything about this? How many did you need to study in order to go, oh, we, we should warn the black people because we care about them? Get the hell out of here, you full of crap. Always, you got an agenda. And I would say it's because the truth is so incinerating. It is more powerful than any nuclear weapon or radiation that you know that's the real weapon. That's why you ship in radioactive food directly to all of our plates. And I know you making a beeline for the black communities with that stuff. The truth is so incinerating. We black people are the most powerful people on the planet wield it everywhere you go because if little old housewife me can cause a whole bunch of quaking in the way they put these headlines out there no you are capable of anything i ran across this article on zero hedge which was actually a very good article even though it's very white where they will never confess their pathology in everything that's happening they they, they just kind of look at all that's going on right now and they're like wow this is really shocking when we've been suffering under their just bloodthirsty grip forever all right they're surprised they're shocked what it's tyranny now it never was before stop all right but at the same time this ain't exactly what i've been saying is is that they've lost they've lost and even common white people if you support the notion that we're all one human race you've lost too okay because they're killing all of you the owner of gold's gym gone down his whole family in a plane because they will not explain to you the wigna effect you've lost you need these books. I don't know how many times I gotta say it, and it's to pretty much no effect. I'm talking to you, listening. If you have not purchased this black, uh, this black nation, and furnace of affliction, you gotta ask yourself, why not? Because that makes no sense for those. And a beautiful sister uh, was, wondering uh, what why it's price at the price it is and that it's too expensive on amazon you go to the doctor you aren't going to get this level of healing at all but if he asks you for a 50 dollars copay for some crap that's just going to destroy your body 
you would sit back and you would be grateful that the copay was so inexpensive. However, on my King's website, 25,000 year cycle, you can avail yourself of his healing guidance and you can purchase all my books, you can purchase, and a brother just did purchase two Fukushima shirts that were designed by brother Chris Miller. Those shirts are going. They're, they're going to be a classic <laughs> at some point in time. Um, yeah, you can get all of that there at an incredibly discounted rate. You could get this as an ebook. You can't get it as an ebook on Amazon, but you could get it there as an ebook for $20 right? And so support your soldiers because there's a war going on right now and we're winning, uh, but we need to definitively build so we could test our food because ain't no black power fist being raised from beyond the grave. And we're dealing with devils here, serious devils. They ain't kidding. Okay. All right. Straight black family pride is our best chance at forever. Because sooner or later, there's going to be plenty of us born who are going to say, not today, devil, not ever. I love you. Peace and blessings.